Hello there. I'm doing a video of this 2018 Adventurer 23, I think, RB. Show you some of the cool things. That also has this kind of reinforced front cap, I think. It's kind of cool. Nice thick fiberglass. Everything about this thing is is wonderful. Um, they're just finishing up the cleaning here. Cleaning crew decided to grab it this morning. Honestly, I don't think I needed it, but when they have when they have time, they they do that. So he's doing the outside. I'm gonna just do a quick thing on the outside here, and then I'll jump inside. So I like how this door is. This door is extra thick, and I like instead of having these little clips up here, they have a big magnet, so it grabs onto that. Inside here, you've got a large storage compartment. See how everything's finished nicely. This is a table. So you have a folding table that works as a picnic table as well. I'm already getting sprayed. It's got a nice rear bumper. It's more heavy duty than what I've seen. You get the spare tire. He's even going to the extent of washing the roof. That's how they really do a good job here. These this cleaning company is a third party they so they work here almost seven days a week and uh, they just do a great job all of your sewer stuff is inside a compartment so it's not exposed on the outside like a lot of motorhomes are where it's hanging down a couple more storage compartments over here you have an outside shower I'm about to get soaked I like how there's storage inside here and that's inside the back of the dinette so that's under the dinette. And you can see how it's framed in steel. This framing up here, that's usually wood in these things and down here. And I've never seen anything like that before. There's another compartment here. That's your generator. A spot for your sewer hose to go, which is amazing. There's a new sewer hose already wrapped up in there. So you don't have, to have your sewer hose inside of a compartment with all your other stuff. Another little thing to add that I thought was uh, really cool is this heavy duty step in. It's not plastic, fiberglass, or aluminum like you see on a lot of brands. And it's just something you can really feel like you can step on and get inside. Quick peek in here. Seats are clean. I'm gonna try to sneak around and get in. But all the edges, everything looks good. That's supposed to fall off there because there's a little trough or a gutter. So it's supposed to come off and hit that. And actually what it does is it kicks it off. Instead of it running down the side of your coach, it's kicking it out. And if you were parked, you'd probably close that mirror. So it didn't, like if it's raining or something, you'd probably close your mirrors. That way it would just fall on the ground. You wouldn't have as much debris on the side of your coach where it kind of like, Picks up after a while with all the minerals. All right, let me see if I can pop in here. So, first of all, up there, that little edge, that is a solar panel. So this has a 100 watt or 150 watt solar panel to help charge the batteries. Nice to have for sure. Uh, electric awning, nice size, goes the whole length of the coach. Up there, here, to there. And let's see if we can jump inside. That's your propane here, furnace. We're back of the fridge, hot water heater, and another outlet if you need to plug anything in outside. All right, I'm safe. I thought he said he was finished. I guess he didn't understand. I said, um, you know, I said, just let me know when you're done, and he kind of nodded like he was. So, anyway, this is your overhead bed. Kind of a small TV, but there's room for a bigger one if you really want. You pop this down and then it moves. It'll move around where you want it. For now, let's keep it there. I like how they have these storage thingy there. Um, there's storage here. So a little shelf and then storage. Put stuff. This is flipped over right here. So what happens is you can stand in this area or get into your seat easier. It actually has this, this piece here. You can see it's a net. It connects like a seat belt up here. So you basically have this 
net that goes across here. So if you have stuff you're storing up there or anybody's sleeping up there, and maybe it's a little more protection for a younger person not to roll out. All right, another cool thing I forgot. This has these covers over the top of this, so you can cover that if you don't want to let as much heat or light in. That's just over the cab. Lots of nice little touches. And then that just pops up for some ventilation. And then here, you have a really good, this thing can close off for the bugs or black out the light or part of the light. But what this is, is a complete moonroof. And I can't open it because there's he's up there spraying, but you just basically pull this across and it flips the whole open, the whole um, window open straight up in the air. So you can see how you can get the airflow. You can close off for the, um, the with the screen so the bugs can't get in. So that's pretty cool. There's your solar controller over here. This is some other switches, your... I think that might be your heated tanks. Your levels, entry light. Generator is, is amazingly only 21.5 hours on it. Okay, so there's seat belts on both sides. This one's a standard kind of look, although I think it's a little wider than some by about this long. And then you got storage down below. There's some of your um, manuals that came with the coach. This is the front curtain that goes across the front so you can have privacy. And then here, which is super cool, is you have this extra height of cushion. So when you're sitting here, you have more support for your head. A three-point seatbelt harness. I've never seen that before in a booth dinette. You've got some uh, USB and 12-volt plugs and then a regular 110 outlet. Oh, big storage up here. Really good size storage. LED lights throughout. All the uh, lights in the coach are 3D, or uh, LED. So that's, that's a nice compartment there. Three equal size compartments. And over here, we have our convection microwave oven. So this will microwave or bake. The two burner stove. This is something they're working on. But I wanted to show you this. Or you can have them covered down for more counter space. I like how it's a wider, deeper counter than a lot of them have. Synthetic wood floors. Here's your drawers, and those go in automatically, like the soft, the soft touch when they get to a certain spot. Nice big drawer there, and then down below is a couple more spaces here, of course. Room for a trash can if you want. That's your CO2 detector. Nice big round sink. I really like having a kitchen window, stainless steel appliances and fan, and then a matching stainless steel looking um, fridge, and fridge and freezer, basically. Good time to point out, there aren't any odors in this coach that you shouldn't have, no pets, no um, smoke, it literally just smells completely normal. There's your closet here. A couple more drawers here. So they're all about the same size. Ooh, more storage over here. That's, that's pretty good, actually. So yeah, lots of space to put stuff. The bed is actually pretty firm. Three more compartments up here. That goes all the way down couple reading lights. I like that you can sit up in bed and, and read a book with your backboard there and then a little spot to put your devices in here, your phone, and you can charge over here. You can convert that to a USB with the 110 outlet or the uh, 12 volt outlet. And then there's a fantastic fan there. There's a max 
like a fanatic fan, really powerful. Uh, and also you can close off that if you want it as well. That has a cover over the top of it so you can have it open even when you're driving. Possibly, actually I think I just might have the cover that covers it so that no rain gets in. But um, you probably have to have it closed when you drive. But there are covers you can add to that. It's like a black cover that allows it to, to do that. Let me actually see what I can, because I can't really tell and I want to, so. Oh yeah, it does have the cover. So it's already got the cover in there. It's a white cover. So you can have this open when you're driving and in the rain too. So that's really a great way of moving air without having to use your air conditioner. If you're not plugged in, for example, you'd use that instead. Another really great thing I don't think I've seen ever before in a Class C motorhome like this. First of all, you'd have a porcelain toilet. Fan in there too. Standard kind of fan. Good size medicine cabinets. Small sink, pretty typical. But some storage there. But what's really cool is you actually have a one piece fiberglass shower with a couple little shelves. This is like to hang more clothes on, I think. But um, nice skylight. I'm six foot one, so I mean, it's it's doable. But I just had never seen one piece. Usually it's plastic and it's got the little gaps on the bottom, which I don't really love, but it is what it is. Anyway. Here's your roof air. There's furnace, uh, furnace that comes out of the floor. Those ducts there and probably another one somewhere. Um, gosh, I think that might be about it. They really spent a lot of time on that roof. I don't think it was that dirty. So, got a little backsplash up against here. But yeah, this is a real tall space too. It does give you a really good bed for if you, if you do need the bed for somebody. And then this makes into a bed as well. There's a lever you <laughs> That didn't hurt as much as it might have sounded like it. I was going to show you this lever. Let's see, turn that over and then you can push it down. My elbow just nicked the counter there. And honestly, I'm fine. I know you're worried. So let's just take another look up here. You've got power defrost mirrors and then that's your uh, defrost button for your side mirrors <laughs> where are the keys oh, the miles 36,874 or 875.4 got a bluetooth radio do you mean you can play probably bluetooth or uh, play audio through your phone cordless. Oh, there's the keys down in there. Let me try that again. Interestingly, we purchased this once and I think they sold it back to us because the P indicates purchase. And so like 18 months ago, we bought like 13 or 14, 15 of these only three or four of this floor plan, and then a couple different floor plans, but, um, cool. Then I guess we must have purchased it back. I mean, I don't think they used it much, because I think they had about the same amount of miles, maybe 34,000 the first time. So it's got kind of like nice plastic there, it's a little bit of a, um, Glove box, airbags on each side. So I guess that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. And down below there, just you know, that's the fuse or the breaker box or fuse and breaker box. But I will send this over to upload on YouTube and then I'll send it over to you.